Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Road with Roby. So, for today's vlog, I'm going to take a hike at Mount Tony Park. Actually, to be honest with y'all, I've been to this park before, but last time I came here with my brother and I took a whole nother route today. I've just been trying to like find different places to go to, to hike on the weekends. And I've noticed that I've been really good with hiking. So that's something that I've been trying to be consistent with and um, been trying to like get my fitness on and my cardio on, but also be outdoors. The weather is really nice this weekend. Yesterday was about 18 degrees. So I went out with one of my home girls and we went to go hit this um, really good chicken and waffle spot y'all the food was so banging the place is called shamsies it's in downtown victoria when i tell you like the ambience was good customer service was a one anyway the chicken and waffles were amazing if you're ever in the victoria area definitely check it out we clean them place down and today i'm just like kind of just feeling like i just want to you know walk and just kind of spend some time with myself and um and just enjoy nature so if you're interested in watching this video and this vlog stay tuned Whew. just started the hike i'm already out of breath so that lets you know i am not in good shape when it comes to cardio so i'm actually really glad that i'm doing this weight training for me has not really been beneficial and it's so weird because everyone always says like, oh, if you weight train, you know, your body's going to feel better. You don't actually need too much cardio, but I'm actually finding out the opposite works for my body. Now, you know, I'm just walking on this incline and I'm already out of breath. This don't make no sense. So, you know, just to let you guys know, weight training is not the end all be all. And I'm learning that. And actually, I have kind of like started shying away from weight training and not saying that i don't do it i try to do it at least twice a week but i feel like low impact workouts work best for me um weight training i don't know what happened with me but every time i weight train it's just like it overloads my body and i just get so tired and i think i stress my body out too much and don't get me wrong like it really did work for a while because i have noticed like you know i'm tight i'm getting tighter in certain areas but overall, my fat is still stubborn and it's just not moving. And I just felt like I had to pivot and switch to something else because it just wasn't working. I did it for like at least four months consistently waking up early in the morning, going to the gym. And it's just the results were not resulting. <laughs> so, so yeah, so now I'm focused more on being outdoors, which I find works better for me. And just like, you know, kind of combining cardio and weight training <laughs> and i think that it works better for me i can't do cardio at the gym unfortunately y'all it'd be so boring for me like i gotta be outdoors so anyways my point is that now from now on i'm just gonna be hiking a lot and doing more outdoorsy activities and definitely this will be a new journey for me and i want to take you guys along on this journey with me another update before we get to the top of the peak uh, I'm going to keep hiking, y'all. I'm going to keep hiking while I'm talking. I'm just taking mini breaks because this sun is beating me up. And I don't want to overexert myself on this hike. But another update is I ended up going to a natural path. Um, I remember a lot of you guys, you know, gave me so much love and support in the video where I was talking about how hard it is to conceive and how my body's changed and how I'm getting older and whatnot. So I did end up making an appointment with a naturopath and I had an appointment with her and she's very lovely and um, she's trying to get to the bottom of why my progesterone is so low so I found out that I have too much estrogen low progesterone and unfortunately to make a baby you need a good balance of both and I'm not having a good balance of both and I've been following the ketogenic diet and she said that it's probably not working well on my body. So I've been working on introducing more complex carbs into my diet. And she also kind of recommended that I take digestive enzymes with that since I'm having a hard time digesting things. And she's also going to kind of run a lot of tests. So I'm going to be doing some labs. And then, you know, I might share what my results are depending on how personal I want to get. So that's that. And I'm just so happy that I ended up seeing her. But y'all, these tests are expensive. 
basically in Canada, we have universal health care, in case most of you don't know. So what that means is that every Canadian has the right to health care and to accessible health care, right? And to access health care. So if I get sick right now, I can go to the ER, show my provincial health card, and boom, that's it. I don't have to pay for anything. Our tax dollars already are allocated for health care. So we actually don't have to pay for doctor's visits and, you know, treatment, specialist visits, all that. However, our system is collapsing. And, you know, I can't really say who's to blame for this because it's just a lot of different factors. It's just a whole bunch of stuff going on here. And, you know, with the cost of living and all these other things, we're getting overly taxed. And the problem is we don't have enough doctors. We don't have enough family doctors. And the reason for that is they're not getting paid much. So if you have a universal health care system and the government is responsible for paying for that health care um, and also paying for the doctors, they have a specific rate that they pay the doctors. Now, when you live next door to a country like America in the United States, you know, there's no universal health care. So doctors can charge you from A to Z. Healthcare is more, it's ran more like a corporation. And the problem is that for Canadian doctors, it's more attractive to go there, right? So then you're going to go where you feel like you can make more money, obviously, because if you feel like you're not getting your fair share of what work you put in and you're not getting a certain amount, of course, it would make more sense for you to go and look elsewhere. Now, the issue is that we're lacking. We're lacking a lot. And there's not enough doctors to go around. A lot of people have lost their family doctors. A lot of people don't have a family doctor, i.e. me. So in my case, after six years of living abroad, I came back to Canada and I'm basically on a wait list to get a family doctor. Unfortunately, it would have been really hard for me to see a family doctor about my issues. Now, I shouldn't be having to pay a natural path and all these things. But the problem is, in order for me to see someone... I would be waiting X, Y, Z amount of time. And I am 38 right now. I just turned 38 a month ago. And I'm not getting any younger. And if I'm trying to have a baby and I have to use the healthcare system that is currently accessible and available to me, there is no way that I'll be able to know when I'll be able to see a specialist, right? The good thing is I have a really good job and I have really great benefits, but I always feel bad for those who don't. And I think me going through this has made me realize how fortunate and privileged I am to be able to have access to health care and seeing a naturopath you know is covered under my benefits um, the diagnostic tests some of them are covered but at least I'll get some money back and the hormonal tests that I have to take y'all is I have to take two tests so they said the hormonal test I have to take a Dutch hormone test and also a, a stool test and one of them is at least $500 and the other one is another $500. So your girl got to go and pay $1,000. And that is not covered under my benefits, unfortunately, because according to the insurance, I already have free health care. So technically, I could get that hormonal test for free. However, I ain't got time to be waiting for the free one. So you see, I'm kind of in a dilemma right now. So I got to go pay out of pocket for the hormone test and for the stool test. But you know what? I got to do what I got to do. And at least I could claim it on my income taxes for next year. So I do get some type of benefit back. But anyway, my whole point is that, you know, if you can get a health care uh, provider and if you have a good employer or if you're able to do it on your own, do it as soon as possible. Because I realize now how important that is. And, you know, I was a little spoiled in Korea because... In Korea, healthcare is super cheap. You don't have to think about those things, right? Like, literally, like, everything is so cheap. And the national insurance pays for it. But here, it's like, I wish we kind of had a system like Korea. Like, I feel like Korea's healthcare system is way more effective than what we have going on here. Um, I could literally see a doctor tomorrow and see a specialist next week. Like this. Like this. I could go to the pharmacy like this, right? Um, here... I feel like there's just so many steps and I feel like we got to get with the times, y'all. We got to get with the times. So, you know, election year is coming up. I'm really hoping that the government really prioritizes this because I can't even imagine if you're really low income, you don't have good health insurance and you have to wait for free things and you can't really do preventative care. So what if somebody has cancer, for example, 
and it takes so long for them to see a doctor so by the time they see a doctor they're already on stage four or they're already terminal right or what if somebody has a really bad debilitating um health concern and it's like they have to suffer in pain for so long because they can't see a specialist because it takes so long and they don't have you know really good uh, health insurance so it's like it, it, it's really sad what's going on but um you know just trying to stay positive but in any case i'm gonna be taking those tests i'll keep you guys posted on uh you know what happens and how i'm changing my diet and um how i'm going through this fertility journey and whatnot i'm almost halfway to the peak so i'm gonna show you guys the peak y'all before we get to the peak i forgot to mention something so <laughs> i was on my way here on the bus and this elderly caucasian lady she kept looking at me right and then she pointed at me like she was trying to say something so i'm like okay what she gotta say to me right because i'm just sitting here minding my own business and then <laughs> she was like is your name sandra i was like <laughs> lord i've become that black person that everyone thinks is someone else now this is the second time that this has happened to me and you know i live in a city where there's about five thousand black people i look at the census okay so it's so funny because I feel like this is going to be a norm for me. You know, it's going to be a norm. People mistaking me for other people. And it's always elderly people. But they're so cute. I ain't going to lie. It was hilarious to me. I was like, well, they, I guess I'll be Sandra today. I should have just said yes. <laughs> I should have said yes and see what she was going to say. Because what if, what if Sandra owe her money? And she'd be like, you owe me money, Sandra. You know? And I'd be like, oh, my bad. You know? But anyways, I thought that was really funny. That was a kiki moment. But... But yeah, y'all, if you come to visit Victoria, be prepared to be mistaken for other black people. I'm just, I'm warning you guys. It's just a warning. lesson back there i don't know if you guys see the snow-capped mountains but that's the united states hi neighbors <laughs> right over there um it's so crazy how close the u.s is to us actually to be honest with you because i literally could you know take a boat and go all the way over there but i'm not gonna do that because i ain't got that kind of energy <music> my resting spot here and I'm just gonna enjoy the view for the next half hour I'm gonna stay here and kind of uh, meditate and just spend some quiet time by myself and also I'm gonna read a little bit of this book I'm on my way down now and I just did one hour and 27 minutes I think that's pretty good now I love hiking and all that but the only thing that I dislike about hiking is that i feel weird just being by myself and hiking especially when i'm on my descent down because when you go up there's always tons of people that they're like hey how you doing girl hey but then when i go down it it'd be a lonely road and you know i don't know i let me know who goes hiking here because i feel like whenever i'm by myself i just be feeling so paranoid like somebody's gonna come up behind me just pick me up or something right so I always got to be on my P's and Q's and I got to be like, 
on guard my head be on a swivel down here because you never know right i feel like serial killers can literally come in a park and just kind of take your girl out so i always got to be careful around like especially on my descent because that's when you're the most distracted right because you just you just went on the top you know you just had all that adrenaline and then once you go down you're just like okay whatever i'm just coming down and then boom you by yourself and i just feel like it's like a horror movie like you hear you hear the steps and then I I hear my own footsteps and I think somebody's coming up behind me. Like, I, I think I need some help. But other than that, hiking was fun. I'm about to head to the next destination. So see you guys there. deciding whether i should go to this mystic garden um i don't have a lot of juice left on my phone but i still might end up going let me see how far i got to go but before i go wherever i end up y'all look at this wishbone usually you know the idea of a wishbone is to separate it make a wish and separate it with another person and then the wish is supposed to come true dom's not here with me um so i'm gonna separate it for him so we're just gonna pray for prosperity for peace so i'm gonna make a wish and then i'm gonna break this wishbone so let me think for a second all right i'm going to break it now uh, oh there we go it's broken other side uh, i probably broke it wrong oh i think i was supposed oh i'm so dumb i think i was supposed to break it apart the other way it's all right, y'all, it's broken. I, I done made my wish, I done made my wish. like i'm in lord of the rings that's what it feels like feels like i'm a hobbit right now so it's really beautiful out here i don't even want to talk too loud because i feel like i'm disturbing nature so i'm just gonna take this all in taking the view and, and then i'm gonna head out exhausted and hungry so true to my word i kept my promise i did not eat out um instead i just kind of controlled my hunger but this is what i'm gonna be eating now so i'm about to tear this up and on that note that is the end of my vlog thank you all for watching this vlog don't forget to like comment and subscribe as always take care of your beautiful selves and bye